my name is Deepa Kaur and uh, I'm into learning and development. Uh, personality development happens to be one of my uh, favorite and close to the heart uh, uh, program. Now, quite often when I say that, you know, one of the habits, the most effective and the productive habit is to read, uh, I do not get much of a positive response from the participants. Most of the time I get the reactions like, oh, it's a so boring, who has the time in 24 hours in a day to read a book, while reading books is important, but we don't get time. Or, I like reading books, but I'm never able to complete a book. I don't remember what I read in a book. I think yes, these are the few questions that you're struggling it. Here are my effective ways of reading a book that you will remember for a lifetime. Number one, if you don't have the habit and you want to start as a habit, please pick up two, three easy to read books to start off with. Now keep it at various locations, one at your office desk, one at your study table probably, or one at your dining table or in the living room. Because this is what happens. Uh, you feel that, oh, I have time, let me read a book and you're sitting on a couch and a book is right there on a study shelf, you may get into procrastination, feel lazy, and who will go and pick up that book maybe next time. Keep it next to the bed. Maybe you are just browsing those one, two pages before you go off to sleep and well, they say that thing about the book, that if I want to sleep, I just pick up a book and read. Well, try to put it as a best friend and a habit, you may just benefit from it. So have a couple of books and start small. Start with five pages, increase it to 10, 12, a chapter, and eventually we'll see that you'll end up reading more than five to seven books in a year. Yes, that's what I'm suggesting. Read minimum five books in a year because you will be average of five books that you read. That means your knowledge will be average of five books that you read. Okay, so pick up those books very, very wisely. I'm not really talking about those uh, romantic and, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 fiction books, right? Tip number two, whenever you read a book, have a concentrated time of 15 to 20 minutes and sit with a couple of different markers. I'm a very hard copy kind of a book person. Do I have an Amazon Kindle? I read that. I read books in that when I travel. Uh, however, I'm a very hard copy person and I sit with a marker. So anything that I find valuable, I just highlight it. Now, another tip. They say that when you read a book three times, you actually get the real essence, the juice of it. And isn't it that true? One of the best courses that you have ever taken, you must have gone for a refresher course again. Why? You just want to refresh it that, oh, I learned more the second time round. Books are no different, ladies and gentlemen. So first time when you read a book, choose a particular color marker. I'm sure when I started off with that, I started off with the yellow color. Um, I'm not sure if I would be able to show you, but here's. I started off with the yellow color book. Uh, when I read this book, almost after one and a half, two years later, I sat with a different color. And this time, I ended up marking and making more notes than before. I read this book third time again. And I have a habit of writing um, uh, which year did I purchase the book. This is a timeless book I purchased on 1806 in 2014. Still in 2020, it makes sense to me. I've just used it for one of my training sessions. Um, you know, uh, so this is how you read a book. You read it three times, you sit with three different markers and you realize that every time that you read a book, uh, you have got a new essence and things that you must have skipped reading before and it just adds more value to you. Last but not the least, the most important, read the book, but don't die with col knowledge cholesterol as I say it. Share what you have learned in that particular chapter with your spouse, with your colleague, with your best friend. Because when you teach it to someone, that's how you remember it for the lifetime. A lot of my participants, if you're watching this video, you know that's my typical sign off of a session. And I never forget to say that because I know how much of value can it add. Read a book, share the knowledge with the other person, empower other person as well. Because when they ask you a question, it will force you to think and probably go back and reread the book. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope these are the effective tips that I have used in order to develop this habit and benefit from it. I wish you the same. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye.